What's up, guys? It's Showtime here, and I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the Razer Naga Solution to mod modifier keys here. So I had the same problem uh, on the Mac. So what I did was I did a little research on the forums, and it still took me a while. At the end, I figured it out. Um, um, no credits to me. Um, don't know who it was. Just kept reading until I found out. So just to show you how it doesn't work, I'm going to go to my uh, settings to my multi action bar. And I'm going to switch out the uh, the kick for the burst of speed here. And to show you how the control one, because the top row is control ones, how they work. You know, mines are working perfectly fine. I have control. So for mine, command is control. And what we're going to go do now is go into the Razer uh, application. It's, uh, it's called Razer Sinet. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to bother. Anyways, we're going to go into the application here. Um, you should already have this if you have the Razer Naga. If you don't, I don't know what you're doing. So you go to the side view. From the side view, you can see I'm going to have all these under macros, except for the uh, 8 and 9, which I'm uh, going to change right now just for you to see. So this is what allows me to shift, alt, and control in World of Warcraft with the Naga on the Mac. So you go to macros, you're going to see right here where it says the plus, the trash, and the three dots. All you have to worry about is the plus, trash, and the record button. So what we're going to do is go to the eight. We're going to go click on number eight, and just for the sake of this uh, recording, we're going to delete that one, and I'm going to make a brand new one just right here. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put plus. Uh, it's going to make sure whatever the number it is, macro, what you can do is click record, click the number that you want it to be under, and then stop recording. It's as simple as that. But just make sure you're quick because it has a little delay on it. So just be quick. It's just button, click, button. I mean record, button, number, re stop recording. And that's basically all you need to do for just to make the macro. After you make the macro, what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the mouse. And we're going to go again, go back to the side view, make sure you're on the side view. Go to the macro that you just made for number eight. So like I said, macro eight, clicked eight. So I went to eight. You go to macros, you go macro eight, and it's gonna give you the option to play once, play multiple times. You don't need to worry about none of that. Just leave it as is, play once. Click on, and you can see I have uh, macro eight now installed there, right? And I'm missing the number nine, the macro nine. I'm gonna leave it like that just to show you how it doesn't work with control shift or alt, any of that. So now I'm going to go into my settings and show you how it doesn't work. All right, so I'm here in my multi-action bar, and we're going to go to the uh, the fourth one on the multi-action bar. And you're going to see that I'm trying to put burst of speed with control 9, and it's not allowing me. I just keep clicking control 9, and it's not letting me. But if I try the uh, control 8 it works perfectly fine. That is because of the uh, macro we made for the um, Razer. Now, I don't know specifically why that's happening or why that works, but it just works. Don't fight it, it works. So that's basically how you do it. So just to recap on this, it is you go to your Razer application, then you go to the macros. You make a macro for whatever numbers you use to control alt shift, whatever it is. You make the macro for the number. You go back into the side view. From the side view, you and you put the macro, whatever number it is. You go back into World of Warcraft, and then you go into the key bindings, and it works perfectly fine. So that is all. Peace.